Hello guys, it's Shingen Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome for my channel. The fuck? Ooh. And welcome to my channel and if you're liking this t-shirt, t-shirt, <laughs> and if you like this shirt from Cowboy Bebop, you will like it even more in the back. Now as for today's video, I'm bringing you a small tutorial of how to fix your low GPU frequency. And there are two causes for it, usually more like one cause, and two fixes for it as well. So let's cut the bullshit and let's go to the causes right after the sponsor of today's video. Today's video sponsor is GVGMOL! Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So recent GPUs nowadays work by clock boosting, okay? So they aren't always at the same clocks unless you force them because they work by clock boosting. They have a base clock, imagine a base clock of, of 2000 megahertz up to let's say 2700 megahertz, okay? and they will stay lower or higher depending on the GPU load usually, okay? So if you're playing heavy games and you're not CPU slash RAM bottleneck, sorry, or if you don't have any frame limiters, then the, um, the GPU should always be at max frequency, okay? But if you're being bottlenecked or if you have a frame limiter, then it is really probable that the GPU will just stay at lower frequencies. Why? Because that's how it works. Imagine that the GPU can achieve, for example, 90 FPS in that particular scenario that you're going into, while you're locking the FPS to 60. Then it means that the GPU usage will get lower because the GPU isn't actually using its full potential, its full power. And when the, the GPU is not using its full power, what happens is that it will decrease the GPU frequency, the core frequency, in order to kind of save power. Yeah, to be efficient. That's what the GPUs nowadays do with their clock boosts. In order to be efficient, if they're not actually in need of using all their power, they will slightly decrease the clocks, okay? That's why the GPU frequency is lower. For example, older GPUs like the RX 580 wouldn't decrease their clocks even if you're going at like 50% GPU usage, even at stock. While with newer GPUs, that isn't the case, they will also decrease their frequency to save power. But don't worry because there's a fix. Also, just want to tell you that some Brazilian channels have been doing some videos about the how, how the AMD cards are really, really bad in the X11 games and blah, 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 blah. Basically, they don't know shit of what they're doing. And sorry if you're watching this, if, you're, if those channels are watching this, they don't know shit, okay? There are some of them that explain that the AMD, the difference in between the AMD drivers and the NVIDIA drivers, NVIDIA drivers do have CPU overhead because they use the drivers to actually distribute the work along all threads, while, for example, the AMD does that hardware side of okay, usually to the first core on the X11, and then if the first core is actually to 100%, blah, 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 that may lead to a CPU bottleneck, and that's why AMD GPUs are better at the X11, uh, at the X12 and Vulkan, because the API is better, and since they do that on hardware side, well, you know it. While NVIDIA does that on software side, so they're usually better on the X11, but have some CPU overhead as well when using lower-end CPUs, okay? That's a trade-off, okay? But that's not the point. The point is that, for example, some channels manage to get the GPU frequencies as low as 600 MHz. We're talking about the 6800 XT that can easily reach 2500 MHz, 2600 MHz, and they manage to actually decrease that frequency to 600 or 500 MHz. I don't know how they do that. I tested lots of, of GPUs, stock, overclocked, SAM without SAM, everything, and I never, and I repeat, never had such results. Not me, not hardware unboxed, not Gamer Nexus, not any respectable uh, channel, okay? Because I consider myself respectable, I'm not a big channel, but I am respectable and I am unbiased, okay? So, yeah, I don't know how they did that, but there are also fixes for that. So going back to the main topic, okay? Problems, maybe your frame limiting 
or you have a CPU slash RAM bottleneck and your CPU just can't push more frames, the GPU will have low GPU usage and will decrease the frequency to save power, okay? How can we fix it? So you have two ways to fix it. The first one mostly applies to the RX 6000 series and it is basically just going into the Radeon settings, going to the performance tab, tuning and enable your core frequencies, okay? Just put everything to manual as you can see in my overclocking and undervolting videos and put the minimum frequency on the core just 100 MHz lower than your maximum frequency. For example, if you have a car that usually sits, for example, at 2400 MHz, just put the minimum frequency to 2300 MHz and the maximum one to 2400 MHz. If your car comes at stock, for example, at 26, uh, 2650 MHz, then just put the maximum frequency to 2650 MHz and the minimum frequency to 2550 MHz. So always put the minimum frequency 100 MHz lower than the maximum frequency and that will stop the frequency from decreasing even with lower GPU usage on the RX 6000 series. So even if you're going at 20% GPU usage while playing CSGO, the core frequencies will always stay at that minimum that is selected. So for example, if you selected 2400 MHz, the core will be in between 2350 and 2400 MHz due to the offset, but it will stay higher uh, not allowing the FPS to, cook, to go down due to that same problem, okay? So that's one fix, mostly for the RX 6000 series. And the second fix is to actually go and download MS Afterburner, and if you already have it, just go into the options, go to the general tab, go to the bottom of that same tab, and you have an option called Disable ULPS, which is the ultra low, ultra low power saver, okay, or ultra low power saving mode, something like that. So just go there and disable it. And why? Because what happens, for example, and what I think happened in that Brazilian channel that, that was actually doing that, called Adrenaline, um, what I think that happened is that they basically had a, somehow, somehow they created a bug with the ultra low power state modes uh, due to low GPU usage and the RAM and CPU they used. Maybe, I think that maybe the problem was their motherboard. I'm almost sure that the problem was their motherboard. If they get a, a decent motherboard with a decent BIOS or at least an updated BIOS, that wouldn't be a problem, but I'm I'm just I'm just thinking of it. I I'm not sure. Okay, still, um, just disable the ultra low power state mode because I think that their problem was that somehow they were having compatibility issues with the ultra low power state and the low GPU usage. So instead of having low GPU usage with at least 2,000 megahertz clocks, they were actually having problems with the ULPS and the clocks were really decreasing a lot, not allowing for the performance to be as it should, giving us in some case scenarios worst performance than the 3060 Ti and we're talking about the 6800 XT which is way faster. So yeah, so disabling the ULPS will make the Radeon drivers not care or the Nvidia drivers not care about the low power states and in 3D applications, like the, the what I told you before, having 100 megahertz lower than the maximum doesn't mean that your GPU will always be at that frequency. It will always be at that frequency just on 3D applications, games and some heavier stuff, okay? So don't worry about that. As for the ULPS, it works in the same way. It doesn't mean that your GPU will always be at max. It just means that in games, 3D applications, it will disable the low power state modes and it will kind of force your GPU to be at the maximum frequency available, okay? But basically, if your frequencies are bouncing a bit and if your FPS are kind of okay, just don't worry, it is normal for the boost clocks to bounce a bit depending on the, G on the GPU load, okay? It is normal. Now, if it is just decreasing a lot, like really, really a lot, it's going to like 500, 600, 1 gigahertz, then, well, then something is wrong and you may need indeed to go to the Radeon settings or disable the ULPS and that will definitely help you in your problem, okay? at least in terms of stutters and so on, because if you have a really, really bad CPU bottleneck, uh, well, this may just help a bit, but you will need, in fact, a new CPU or a new 
uh, RAM kit, okay? But overall, these two options should fix your problems with low GPU frequency. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video because that really helps a lot. Take another look at my shirt. <laughs> and see you in the next video, guys. By the way, I will be some days on vacation to Spain, so yeah. So yeah, I won't be doing any videos, but thanks a lot for watching. See you maybe in the weekend, I guess, in the weekend.